So there's a million talking points here. I'm going to try to stay concise enough, okay? This image, super fucking high yield for USMLE for lupamide reaction. It's showing us neutrophils, okay? Neutrophilia. So that's our image. And leukemoid reaction is a weird phrase. You've probably heard it before. You say, I don't know what that means. Cool. Uh, leukemoid reaction is just when you have leukocytosis, usually due to infection, and it's not leukemia. Okay. Now, this patient has an infection, um, fever, chills, leukocytosis at 18,000 per microliter. Normal range is 4 to 11,000 per microliter for white blood cells. The hemoglobin hematocrit are normal. And if we differ differentiate leukemoid reaction from leukemia, you say, I don't know how to differentiate them. I'm going to tell you like the key points you need to know for USMLE, okay? Starters. There's something called leukocyte alkaline phosphatase, leukocyte ALP. It's increased in leukemoid reaction. It's decreased in leukemias, notably CML, okay? Now you say, what, what is leukocyte alkaline phosphatase? It's a marker inside white blood cells. Once again, if you get a question where they say leukocyte alkaline phosphatase, phosphatase is elevated and there's some sort of infection going on, they're just telling you it's leukemoid reaction, okay? Uh, it's just what the USMLE wants. Now, if they tell you leukocyte alkaline phosphatase is low, you say, I, have, I haven't even read the rest of the question yet, but I know it's not leukemoid reaction. So just know that weird thing called leukocyte ALP, which I didn't even make a part of this question. Now, um, looking at the answer choices, when we think about leukemias, I would say probably 80% of leukemia questions in USMLE are not just going to give you a high leukocyte count, they're going to give you a very fucking high leukocyte count. So you can see here, white blood cell count is 18,000. As I said, normal range is 4 to 11. Infections can traditionally give you leukocytosis in the teens or 20,000s. If you have a ruptured appendix with sepsis, you might have a white blood cell count at 25,000. And I've seen that for 2CK level questions. Pertussis, okay, is like the one exception. I don't want to get too, I don't want to digress too much. Pertussis is the one exception where it can look like leukemia because you can get 30 or 40,000 white blood cells and they're all lymphocytes, okay? Um, but that's, as I said, the exception. When we talk about all infections, probably teens to 20s generally for white blood cell count, leukemias, 80% of your questions are going to give you a white blood cell count. That's like at least 50,000, okay? So ALL, always going to be pediatrics and USMLE. You're going to have a leukocyte count, like greater than 50,000. They might tell you it's an eight, it's 80,000, and then 90% are lymphocytes. That's just ALL. CD10 positivity, TDT positivity, okay? Uh, almost always B cell. If they want T cell, ALL, they'll tell you there's positive Pembertin signs, flushing of the face. Usually when your arms above the head, but they don't have to say arms above the head, just flushing of the face. It's usually due to a thymic lesion. That'll be tall, T-cell, ALL, but it's usually 80% of the time it's B-cell. Actually, is 80% of the time B-cell. Um, AML is going to be an adult who has blast. They're going to tell you there's blasts seen on a smear, and they're also going to show you an R-rod almost always. So you, as opposed to seeing neutrophils like you have here, you're just going to see uh, a cell, and you look at it, and there's a needle. That's your R-rod, it's composed of myeloperoxidase, classic for AML. Lots and lots we can talk about. I'm just going to stay concise here. CLL, they're going to tell you an adult, usually elderly, who has a leukocyte count of 80,000, and they're all lymphocytes, but it's not a kid, so it's not ALL. It's an adult, it's CLL. And a smear could show you smudge cells. They're just fragmented RB, sorry, fragmented white blood cells, the lymphocytes, uh, from the light microscopy uh, process from the slide. The fragile for whatever reason. Uh, more talking points, but we're going to stay concise. Uh, B12 depletion could give you hypersegmented neutrophils. We could maybe look at one or two of these and be like, oh, maybe they do look hypersegmented. Generally, neutrophils have three to five lobes. If you're starting to see seven lobes, okay, I mean, and the, if the US really wants hypersegmented neutrophil, that they will show you usually one in the center of the image, and it will have like seven lobes. And then the vignette is going to give you some sort of relevance. They're going to say there was gastric bypass surgery or the patient's a strict 
uh, vegan or vegetarian. Okay, there's gonna there's going to be something uh, in the vignette that's relevant to B12 deficiency or B9 deficiency with folate. If we patients take in anti epileptics, etc., those can cause folate depletion. Um, many talking points. Okay, I can make this a 50 minute uh, clip, but you just need to take home that leukemoid reaction is a weird phrase that refers to leukocytosis, usually due to infection. It's not leukemia. And if they make you differentiate based on leukocyte alkaline phosphatase, remember it's elevated in leukemoid reaction, it's decreased in leukemia. That's it.